Hello and welcome back. Yes, things have changed a little bit. I did, this is a storyline. It is, and I've yeah, never made any bones about that. So I have been busy, and this was supposed to be a surprise. Yeah, well, it is a surprise. So you didn't see me do this, and I normally do show that. Yeah, I leveled this and played around with things a little bit, and also we have had a contractor into poor concrete. Then we've yeah leveled a bit of this. What I did talk about doing. Some of it was not quite to plan, but yes, the family had completely moved in, and I shall show you what I mean. It did cost me, we were up to 560 odd ground and we're down to 520. Look, look, the family have all moved in. I was well chuffed with that. <laughs> My aunt's car and all the family's cars. Of course, the adults that can drive, and also, yeah, so that that is, I thought that was a nice touch. I was quite pleased with that. Yeah, uh, yeah, the flattening and all that did cost me. It did, and yeah, I'm quite pleased. I do like this. I put this kind of yeah in places, and this kind in places as well. Zero Oito has definitely excelled himself in what he did. So I've done all of this to make it look more like a farmyard, and also to change it so that my aunt and the family don't recognise it for what it used to be. It is completely different. I'm. This is a bit unbalanced, it is, because I filled this yesterday and then this morning, obviously the healthy animals are down to 25% because it somehow runs out in the middle. That's that's not really good because we did fill this up last night, so it's it sort of, yeah, I don't know whether you, you're supposed to wake up in the middle of the night and feed your animals so that the health doesn't, but in, in all honesty, although we know you can't kill your animals in this, this would be an animal killer. It is. It's definitely unbalanced. It is. So I don't know what we can, what I can do. It was the food was absolutely on zero because we've got 200. Well, it's supposed to be capable of having 400 we've only got two so if it's this bad at 200 out of 400 i hate to think what will happen next year when we're at 400 will we need to feed it will we need to top it up every two or three hours which is at that point becomes highly unrealistic so this may be the first and last let's play i feature this on until either the mod does something to make it a bit more balanced or I'll just rip it off my books because yeah, which it's a shame because of the big ones. There's only really the Rolly Christie one, which is so super duper. It is absolutely amazing and also represents the super best value for money in comparison to all the others, which is why it features on so many of our let's plays. Because truthfully, there isn't anything else up there that actually touches it. It represents good value for money, allows you to nearly have 500 cows, whereas yeah, I am putting my money where my mouth is. I'm not just... I mean, I've got most of the ones in. I mean, obviously, I know we've got these. The giants, giant ones. 722. Now, there are some other ones that are... 160 for 80. There's one that's... Yeah, here we go. This one here. That's That represents the biggest other one. The uh, free-range cow barn. But again, it's 578 for 240 versus 150 for 490. It's just, yeah, I mean, again, 400 grand. If the Rolly Christie one didn't exist, then it would be a different board game. But you know it's there. You can't ignore this fact. So represents best value for money. It's a hard fact to, it is. I mean, that one there, I suppose, is... But again, it only goes up to 240. Why would you spend three times the amount for like half of the amount? It just doesn't make sense. If you go for small, obviously there's lots of small choices. I keep wanting to put the self-made cow shit on the 45er, but yeah, I don't know. It just seems, I was hoping the Brazilian was going to be my second choice so I could cycle between having this and that, but I'm so far quite disappointed that through no fault of my own the health of the animals is down to 25% and I didn't forget I have forgotten I have on Western Wilds one night I did forget and the morning they were yeah they had health a health hit so I was upset about that because that was my fault now this wasn't yeah I, I'm not blaming myself when now then that's just while I'm I'm crowing about this, let's just make sure have we filled up yeah we are completely filled. Yeah, obviously the other problem is we've got shared storage. The Lorts is grabbing storage from this. 
which means I can't draw things out of this because the Lorts is seemingly having precedence over that, which means I can't draw the silage, I think it is. It won't let me get it, because if I go to this, it didn't show, it didn't show yesterday anyway. Right. We do have a task to do. We do now. Let me just... I think we checked the... Yeah, I think all we've got to do is, he says, all we've got to do is try and feed that beast. Let's just have a quick look at our other task. I did say we are not leaving this map until that is done. Definitely not, even though we're doing super duper. Right, so the one thing we do need to be doing is, how much have we got in here? 515 tons of silage, 600, yeah, I'm, I'm in December, that is the point. I think, if I remember rightly, we did check prices of this last time and it was not at the best it's so that we either tomorrow yeah one two seven three it's on the way up it reaches one th one three is the best price the best normal price so that to me looks either very late on today or tomorrow morning which means all we've got to do that's the point i didn't actually look at that how much silage have we got in you have only 121 tons right so we have 600 and odd tons of silage to feed the beast which has an unending appetite it really does that beast can devour much more than that in one day it will it'll devour that in the morning just this morning it will so let's get on and do that right and let's grab yeah the phoenix this cab over is slightly louder. Now, yeah, I'm a bit loath to do this because it's probably going to swallow it up. Luckily for us, we are not, yeah, we're not that badly off, so we can afford it. Yeah, I've also, I got that instead of, uh, I had to move a few bits, but I wanted this to be a surprise. I don't normally do it like this, but this, I wanted it to be a surprise because this is a storyline. And I wanted it to be a surprise for yourselves as well. No, no, it's not actually. They're painted on. Yeah, the bluey glow sun glows aren't there still. Right, so I'm going to yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to time lapse this because we are going to grab lots and runs of silage and it's going to be fairly boring. And then we're going to take this till tomorrow morning and then we're going to do digestate runs which are going to be equally as boring in a way, but are going to make us an absolute killing. They truly are. Our animals are done tick. Fields are done tick. Oh, I do believe... Yeah, they're done now till next year. Don't run over that. So I am going to say my words. We know what we're going to do. We are literally going to grab the silage until we run out. Then we're going to sleep through till tomorrow morning. And then we are going to do digestate runs. Yeah, lots of digestate runs, which would be mind-numbing if I put you through that. So, yes, I am going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
that is us done. It really is. I cannot. I am. I've got to be honest. I did. I guesstimated two grand. Two grand. Two million. Even. This is me cleaning this out, ready for water. Yeah. Imagine I'm doing proper, proper disinfecting things. Yeah, I am a tad blown away. I. I did guesstimate two million. I seriously didn't think we'd well. That is the most I've ever done on any Let's Play period. I did, on low note, strip my assets and get 3.5 mil. But that was stripping assets. We haven't done anything like that. We got our assets and we've got 3.2 mil as well. So, yeah, bowl away is a little bit under. Now, I'm not being nasty. But I am going to treat myself. It's not that I don't appreciate this. It's just slowing this down a little bit. It is. I'm going to stick down the uh, Omatana one. It really is nice and nippy. I don't like just showing one or sticking to just one thing. But actually, let's see in containers. Yeah, they are. This one here is amazing. The, uh, so is the old brick well. I do like the, uh, the handle. That's right, it's just there. I like the way the uh, Matana one you can actually stick as well. So please tell me that's not floating in there. No, it is not. It's firmly attached to the ground. Yes, it is nice and nippy. I mean, it's not only is it fantastic because it's a standpipe and it, it does go places that other ones don't. It's also free water. There's absolutely nothing to not like about it, but also it doesn't take from morning till dusk. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not knocking the other nod. It's the other mod, but yeah, it's if I've got one that can do that. Then I will. Yeah, I just—it's just you've obviously not always got other things to do. That's true. What we're going to do is we're going to speed up. I, I am blown away. In in a minute, we are going to also get a massive amount of energy tickle. I did see it. It's literally—I'll show you. In fact, no, you'll miss it. It's going to go from 12:59. Let's see if we can run up before it turns to one o'clock. Ah. Oh. That was that was predictable. It was it had lots and lots of yeah it did lots and lots of charge in 3.3 hundred knots 100,000 tick up in an hour. I think I would like to is bugging me. Is that it's not flat. <laughs> it's really it's bugging me. <laughs> I keep seeing it and thinking. That's not flat. No, it's not. That's better. I must have had a vehicle there, to be honest. Oh, it's, it seems to be smoothing very nicely. Look the way this smoothing tool actually clears all the tyre tracks. Ah, looks like some of that is not possible to be shifted because it's where the slurry yard is. It's not letting me, or it could be it's too close to that actually, that is a point. Let's shift that first and then we can definitely say it's that. Now, I'm not being nasty, I thought that was flat, but that is about as level, sorry, that building is about as level as I don't know what. It's terrible, Mr. Smith. Yes, it really is, I agree. Yes, to say I am um, blown away is definitely an understatement. It really is. That's better. I was, I was too close to the vehicle. Smashing, that's much better now. Right. Yes, I'm happy with that. I am. So, we do. Re it, what does remain is for us to place. Now, I'm. I have a good mind, obviously. We had an itinerary on this, and that was, I mean, I don't know if, obviously this is an amalgamation of a storyline and, uh, yeah, uh, the one that I was in debt, and then the also the actual one. Now, I never, never bought any money from the other one, and I could have done. Yeah, I didn't. 
we just played on as it was the start from scratch but amalgamated the story we did that's all we did with this let's play obviously we've played along with the story and the map has worked along with us and I am blown away with just and there's been no yeah no cheating it's it's flowed I've said this before some let's plays just flow nicely other ones fight you this one did obviously our partners have helped enormously disturb simulations this monster is a beast it is an untamable beast and it has this also Omatana seriously and this yeah all of them have played their part even the Hessian the humble Hessian has played its part in this let's play each one of them a play that has enabled us to get to where we are today now I have said and I said it only this earlier that I wouldn't leave until we've done this but I'm not sure that we've not achieved everything that we this is a storyline it really is and the plan was to produce a farm and hand the reins over. Now I I trust my family, but we've we've done that. Now they can do what they like. They've got 3.3 million. They could buy half the fields on the map. They've got a massive yard. We've got productions for them. And not only that, a 3.3 million check to give to my aunt and the family. So now then, I can hear one of you. I can hear the TLX. So, although I did say that earlier, I seriously wasn't sort of thinking of the ramifications of what we've done. Now, we have a successful business to hand over to them. Uh, we've Obviously, we've built the house. Tick. We've planted and planted. We've placed the animals and also left it so that it does increase for the future. Let's not crash into that, Mr. Smith have we've given them yards we've got the money for them to place the sheds well this is the family's farm I I just think now that we've achieved what we wanted to achieve and that really all what we ought to do is hand the reins back to the family as much as that it does sort of go against what I said earlier which was let's yeah I'm gonna do that I mean I've left the tools for the family to do it and we've actually achieved the storyline. We have done what we intended to do. We have. And the scope for the family now is it's their farm. Don't seriously don't. It is a bit of a sudden uh, sort of climax again. But in all honesty, going with the storyline, we've achieved everything we set out to achieve. And that is always the name of any Let's Play. So I have got to say a massive shout out to Zero Woito for an absolutely amazing I'm not saying I won't come again I'm not it is it, Westbridge Hills has always been one of my favorite maps in FS19 and Zero Woito has absolutely nailed it there is plenty of scope for us to come back on it is funny I always say that but you very rarely do. I'd love another go on Calmston. I really would thoroughly but there are other good maps that obviously I'd love to do another storyline. This one has ended exceptionally abruptly and I seriously did not expect this but yeah I mean the other thing is we're not finished yet I mean if, uh, let me just show you what we've actually got in the production grass wise. In the Omatana one uh, we have got we still got 538 tons of grass. That is, again, if we stay to the end, I would seriously think that we would top four, four and a half million. Seriously. Because that, we, we get 480 tons of product silage from that because it do, it's doing the hay conversion as well. And it's 240 tons of grass and it's doing 240 tons of hay stroke to silage in one night so that's 480 tons if i stick that in there again that's another 480 tons and the digestate the way that racks up digestate is absolutely phenomenal as in speed that it does it now january is even better than december our prices are not have not reached maximum that goes well over in fact, does it show you now? Yeah, 1362. We're almost 100 less 
than top price. But I thought we're approaching 1300. That is that is a good price. I thought I'm not going to hang around. If we go till tomorrow morning and we get 480 tons of silage from this, we are going to top well over 4 million. But but we've done it. It's the family's money now. So I am going to have the conversation with the family, the the biggest one, and I am. Yeah, I'm hanging up my hat from Westbridge Hills, which is a sad moment for me, it really is. I think we've done well though, I truly do. It's, uh, we, uh, I think we will we'll have a bit of a wander. We will l have a look at where we started. I may play some highlights of the, some of the videos where we've been just to gather all, all of it together. I might, I've, I've never done that yet, but I might do that. Oh, actually, no, I can't. This is the one trouble about playing in 4K. Is you cannot keep all of your sessions. As soon as I upload, upload them to um, YouTube, I have to delete. Otherwise, I probably would have about 7 or 8 terabytes, terabytes of episodes. It may be something I work on, but obviously this is a hobby to me. I, I, it's not, and This is not any kind of plug or anything like that. It's a hobby that obviously big content creators that are earning money off YouTube can invest back in this. Now I've already invested an awful lot of money in kits, absolutely amazing laptops and stuff like that. I bought the game twice, lots of let of sort of sort of things to do that. So yeah, to actually sort of yeah, I've, I've it is a hobby and I've got to acknowledge that fact. So I, there's only so far I can go with that particular type of thing. And that, that is me. I'm loving this. I truly am. I, I absolutely love creating content. It's nice that the channel is seriously getting some attention now. And I absolutely do love that. But I am still, yeah, this is a, a hobby to me. It truly is. One that I absolutely love. And of course, in some ways, I do wish I had more time or energy to, to think of the storylines of course everybody gets a bit of writer's block even Dagger with Mr CDP you get some let's plays that are better than others because no one is on their air game all of the time that's true and also as I said just a few minutes ago sometimes a let's play works with you and things happen in ways did you did you see the tree <laughs> did you see the tree that I put as well I did actually place that one I did want this to be a surprise I wanted to uh, for once, because I thought the cars were a nice torch and all the rest of it. I mean, you saw me do the fences and that, and again, I think it's all... I, I do love the sort of finishing touches that we've done, and they say there's plenty of scope for the family. We've placed our cows. What are they doing? Yeah, well, it's not my problem. I am literally hanging my hat up, but we shall just go down. We're going to catch the bus. In fact, no. I do have a run around. This is mine. Yeah, it is all mine, but I'm, I'm going to literally, yeah, I'm literally going to see the family now. I'm going to knock on the door, give this to them, and I might, I'm going to go, and we are just going to take a look at where it all began. On the original start from scratch, let's play down in our field at the other side of the map. Yeah, now the family, obviously, that was amalgamation of the two let's plays, so... Right, the moment has come. So, yeah. Right, let's knock on the door and I will see you shortly. Right, there, not a dry eye in the house including myself, I admit it, yes, an old softy, but we have been through lots, the family have been through an awful lot, so we truly have, I do like that fence, I didn't realise it was like ropey type stuff through there, yeah, I thought it was, it's almost like, is it electric fence? Yeah, I think I should have gone for a little bit more snazzy fence, but hey, yeah, not a dry house, in, not, not a dry eye in the house, yeah, everybody is very sad to see me go, but they are very happy. I have transferred the funds. Yeah, this is just, you can see them up there now, but that is 12 o'clock tonight. Automatic transfer to from my bank to theirs, and 
they are going into the sunset. Yeah, I am, I am sad in a way. I did want to do the um, poplars very much, but I did think I said it earlier, and then when I saw what I saw, I thought, right, let's just go and repair this. I do want it to be able to get through to the next town where we are going to. Yes, that is true. Now, where am I going to? That is the question. Well, now I don't see any somewhere. Right, let's top up. Yes, the deeds to all of the equipment have all been passed over to the family. So, this is our lap of honour. Yes, we cannot, yeah, we cannot not go and see the very first contract that we did on this. Yeah, I remember it fondly. It was a monster. Yeah, I have also some fond memories of the even more monstrous ones that I did on my own. But yes, this one we did have a team and the tractors that we were given with the contract. And this is what really started off our journey, two years. Amazing. I have very fun memories of all that we did up this end. Yeah, this is the contract that we started up at the very beginning of this Let's Play. It started, started the wheels turning and started, a bit, yeah, our success was the start of it, truthfully. It was amazing, it really was. And then, of course, our little old field down here. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like we've still got seeds on this edge of this field. This is where our fortunes, where it all started. And they've even left some of the... Yeah. I won't tell you. Obviously, it's really not part of the field. This here is actually the periphery. But obviously, it was. I was allowed it. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, that's why I really did choose this one over any other. But this is where it all began. This is, yeah, we had our windmill, Jonathan Creek, over here. And all of our bits and bobs that have led us to the moment that you see above there. 3,314,689 plus an absolute plethora of equipment. Don't say that word very often. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I've never, other than Rombos, I've never owned so many <laughs> three fence and one Axion. All monsters, absolutely amazing. Obviously not just that, we've got the, uh, yeah, we only had the one Harvester, that's true. But it did us proud, because really we never did, we may, went mainly into grass. We've got that fantastic forage harvest that I never had the pleasure to do. Yeah, plenty of that special multi well we did use it actually in the end we did actually plant never got the chance to use that which is an absolute yeah, travesty but there you go it is what it is nor did we ever use that yeah the trailers wow yeah we use pretty much all of those um, absolutely amazing the car yeah that's the run around the cedar that was a smashing drop hence the price its value did I ever use that you know, I don't think I did, did I? And that was a smashing drop. Sprayer, we did use a sprayer. We did definitely use both of those. Mowers, we certainly... For saying they are humble, they are not the super duper ones. They did us proud. We used that, those two sets. And they're not even a, pro a proper set in the truest sense. They are literally broken sets that a lot of people would have... Yeah sort of said no but yeah we use those to good effect well, that one there was obviously special offer so was no I can't remember I think that was because the quarto is very cheap anyway but yeah so this is me saying goodbye to Westridge Hills for now at the very least yeah it's I, it is sad I really am it's Zero Oito has absolutely nailed this map I've got to say that one thing I will say the palette for 
decoration I found absolutely amazing. The fact that you can do things like this is tremendous. The yard back where the family are now. Thank you Zero Auto for an absolutely fantastic palette. It always helps in the creation of content if you've got good sets of things to do things with. You, you can actually do things yourself. And that's really helped me to, to make the storyline what it has been. A very basic storyline but yeah we've done it so all that remains is for me to thank you the watchers the viewers the this thanks for your support of the channel it really is very much appreciated and i really do hope that you are going to continue on other let's plays yeah if also my favorite content creator as you probably well know is mr cdp now he does his special thing and I'm not I'm not going to copy that but one thing I would say is his um, watches and subscribers are, are quite vocal he's got some absolutely amazing support I would really appreciate some input from yourselves if you've got any ideas of where you would like me to go or storylines or even mods just to bring in or yeah I, I would I truly do and I've always said this, I think that our farm uh, it is ours, it's not just mine. It is, and I would really appreciate more input from yourselves about things that you'd like to see. Even humble, humble things such as sheds, cow yards, whatever you'd like to see. Then we can arrange that to be, yeah, part of the Let's Play. I really would love that. I mean, I don't do mod reviews yet, per se. But I do do mod reviews, as in I bring them in and we often have a look at mods, even productions, to go through the cycles to actually... So it is a mod review per se, but it's always part of the Let's Play. I've never done it separately yet, I truly haven't. And to be honest, I'm not sure that I've got the time, and that goes down to me having a normal job and actually doing this as more as a hobby. Anyway, that's enough waffling from me. Yes, this is me signing out from Westridge Hills. I've had an absolute hoot and thank you very much for watching and I am going to say goodbye for the final time for now. <laughs>